Welcome back YouTubers and um, today we're going to carry on our 3D design of our garden room. Um, today we're going to just do some really simple insulation and the sub deck which then mirrors the work that I'm doing on my build series. So if you've not seen that go and check it out. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, helps get my videos seen by more people and will allow me to do more of these videos and continue to design and make more cool stuff. Let's jump straight into SketchUp and get on with it. Okay. Welcome back YouTubers and um, today we're going to carry on our 3D design of our garden room. Um, today we're going to just do some really simple insulation and the sub deck which then mirrors the work that I'm doing on my build series. So if you've not seen that go and check it out. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Um, helps get my videos seen by more people and will allow me to do more of these videos and continue to design and make more cool stuff. Let's jump straight into SketchUp and get on with it. Okay. So from the last video, we have got our foundations all placed out and our timber base. And as you might remember, if I use the um, orbit tool, you, we, we added another timber in here to pick up this central row of piles so that all of our foundations are nicely and equally spaced to provide a really solid, solid surface and structure for our, for our garden room. Okay, so today we are going to add the uh, insulation. Now, insulation comes in uh, 2.4 by 1.2 sheets. So um, I'm going to make a sheet and we'll put it in and although I'm not going to cut it in particular by doing it in the sheet size it gives us a real idea of how many sheets that we're going to need. So I'm going to start by going to the rectangle tool and I'm going to hold it on, I'm going to just zoom into this corner a little bit using my uh, wheel on my mouse and I'm just going to hold the mouse on this corner and I'm going to just drag it out. As you can see, the, the line is blue, which means it's going along the horizontal axis, which is what we want. Okay, and then in, I'm going to type one two zero zero comma two four zero zero, and that gives us the size of a full sheet of rigid foam insulation. So then from this part here, I can use the uh, push-pull tool and I can pull, pull that up. It's selected and I can just pull it up and I want that to be 
100 mil. So I'm going to type in 100. And that gives us a sheet of insulation. Now, if I wanted to um, kind of try and make it a bit more realistic, uh, this stuff is kind of shiny on top. So I'm just going to go to the materials pane, which is loading up. And I'm going to try and find like glass and mirrors. This, this gray here is probably okay, um, just for now. And um, the inside of the insulation is kind of a pink, like a sort of yellowy color, but I mean, we're not gonna see that, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Just close that window. So now I'm gonna triple click on this sheet and I'm going to push command or control G well no I'm not I'm going to triple click on the sheet of insulation and then I'm going to right click and make a group so now we can move this around and it, it's not going to join up with any of those other bits so using the orbit tool, I'm just going to change the view a little bit, maybe zoom out a little bit, kind of central, centralize my view. And um, basically, this sits flush with the floor. So if I grab this top corner here and drag it, uh, I should, if I zoom in, be able to put it on that corner and then you can see that the sheet is slightly bigger than the space that I've allowed for and which is fine because what I will do is that says that we need one sheet so what I can do is I can come down here and uh, just change my view a little bit. Zoom out. I'm going to select it. And what I need to do now is Alt and Move, and I'm going to add another sheet right next to it. So now you can see that you know I'm going to need at least two sheets for this, but actually I need more. So I'm going to click on this again and push the alt key so it makes a copy and I'm going to put another sheet there so that you can see I need three sheets so far now we've got half a sheet left approximately there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come around to this side use the move tool but come down to the scale tool and I'm going to just push this into there. And that gives us an idea that that's where it's going to go. And then I'm going to get, I'm going to select this. And then I'm going to go back to the move tool, which is under here. And I'm going to create a copy of that holding down the alt key. Now what I want to do with this is I actually want to spin it and if I put my cursor over one of these um, red squares that pops up, I can actually click on it, rotate it, and it will kind of try and rotate on the main angle. So I can rotate it 90 degrees. When I get the green line, I know that I've rotated it 90 degrees. And I click again. And then I can use the move tool to grab that and plonk that in there. So as you can see, it's a little bit frustrating for this bit because actually I've got this tiny little hole left here. But 
what you have to remember is each one of these you cut, you're actually saving 50 mil because you're not cutting, um, you wouldn't be using this section because that's a joist, you'd be cutting it in between those joists. So you've got seven joists at 50 mil, so that's 350. So actually, you would probably find that three sheets will just about do this um, without without too much waste. But for the sake of the design and having it um, kind of accurate and filled, I'm just going to grab that corner and drag another one in there. Then go to the scale tool. I need to rotate a little bit. Back to the scale tool, and I'm going to bring that right down to there. And then go to the move tool. And drop that in there. Okay, now it's not super accurate, you know, we've got some overlaps and things going on. But from a point of view of, you know, we have um, the insulation in and if I click on the frame and then um, click hide, it gives you an idea of what that looks like. And you can hide any of the components just so you can kind of see what's going on below. Okay, so you can have a good look round. And that is basically your insulation. And then if you want to get your um, your frame back, you just click all and it pops anything that you've hidden right back. So that is the insulation. And now we could basically use the same principle to do the plywood. Again, the plywood is 1.2 by 2.4. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold it on this corner and I'm going to drag it out so it's blue. And I'm going to type 1200,2400. And that gives us that sheet. But plywood, this plywood that we're using is 12 mil thick. So I'm going to go to the push pull tool, hover over this section and just pull it up and type 12 and that gives me that whole sheet ready so again we triple click on it to select it all and then right click and make a group and then that becomes a group that we can move around so with this as you can see we are right on the middle of this joist and these noggins here which is perfect so we are going to use the move tool on this corner and we're going to drag a copy to there and then you can see we're right in the middle of that as well and i'm going to do the same again we're going to overhang it this time but that's not too big of a deal and then we're going to turn around and I'm going to select this sheet and use the move tool again to pull this up here but before um, and then I need to turn it 90 degrees so we're going to click on one of these red squares and then just turn it until we get a nice green line which we know means it's turned 90 degrees and then I'm already on the move tool so I can grab that and I can plonk it back on there then I'm going to use that again to drag it over to that point. Zoom in a bit. It doesn't seem to be quite in the right place. A bit of a gap. Get really close if you want to. It's a bit easier to see. And then we're going to close that gap up. So obviously this is you know massively too big but again we're going to need one two three 
four sheets to be to be safe. Um, but what we need to do is select them, zoom in a bit, and then go to the scale tool, which is under the move lot, and then you've got to find this middle one to just push that in, and it will it will lock on the edge here. So once you've done that, that's great. Then move to the next one, do exactly the same thing again. You'll find that using SketchUp and doing this sort of thing is there's there's quite a lot of repetition. Um, so once you know how to do something, then you find that you end up doing it quite a lot. As you can see, I'm just skipping from tool to tool now and then jumping back to the scale tool and again getting that middle green dot which is sort of if I zoom in you can see it is there you don't want either of the top ones because that shrinks it into the two planes so do that and try and click it onto that corner there I can check that it's in the right place in a second And then finally, the last one, and that pushes back, and then we're just going to zoom in, and that's okay. Now, what I'm going to do really is double click on that and get the colour, and I want the wood colour. And I'm going to go with this because that's like a sheet apply, and I'm going to do that. And that didn't actually do it all, but it did the top bit. I'm going to do it again. And again. Actually, if you triple click right in there and select it all, then when you do that, it does actually get the sides. Now, in theory, I could have done this before when I'd made the first sheet and um, I wouldn't need to have done this five times but still it's good practice and there you have our base and there you have it you have your base fully done um, so we've got our insulation hidden under there, we've got our uh, frame and now our sub base. So that is...